This video is for my fifth grade for the value ribbons that we're going to do for this week two. This assignment deals with value and so what value is is the light of color, all those light blues and pinks and pastels, the mediums of color um, like our true colors are out of paint containers and things and really dark colors like dark blues, burgundies, browns, um, dark violet, uh, things like that. Okay, so anytime we open our eyes in the morning, we're bombarded with values in our world. So think about that tomorrow when you wake up. What are you seeing? You're seeing many different colors, many different lights and darks of those colors. Today we're going to be practicing shading and I'm going to ask you to definitely show me some dark values on this drawing, some medium values on this drawing, and light values. So I'm going to show you some examples of how to do this. Okay, first of all, in the instructions, we have to make a curvy line through our work. And so I want you to use as much of the paper as you can and take that line for a walk, okay? So sometimes when I'm doing a curvy line, I'll twist my pencil in the process, which gives the line some interesting design. And I may switch pencils just to make sure you guys can see that on the next line. So I have a line I could see, and what I have to do is parallel that line. So that means that distance is gonna be consistent but then you're going to pinch the line together, crisscross over, and make the, the crisscross consistent. Then pinch it again together and out again. So I'm going to go parallel. I'm following my line very nicely. Anytime you think, oh, it's not parallel anymore, okay, just crisscross over. And it makes it very interesting. And so what happens is they start to look like ribbons twisting in space. We don't have to make a straight line anywhere. We're just making that curved line. So what I'm going to do now is show you this ribbon by shading it. Now I'm going to talk about pencils for a second. This pencil is a draft pencil, something you would get at the dollar store, no problem. Sometimes these pencils do not shade very well. If you have one of those, Trade it for a number two pencil, which usually has good shading quality. Okay, it's easier to get that uh, lead to brighten up on the paper. So what I'm going to do at the crisscross, in fact, I got I to gotta change pencils because that one's not showing up. At the crisscross, what I want you to do is think of a dark shade of gray, and then it's going to fade out. So I want to tell you guys that as young artists, sometimes we can be a little scribblier than we'd like to be. So I'm going to ask you to always be mindful of producing good artwork. And notice how I'm kind of like scrubbing it with my finger. And it's going to fade out a little bit. And you can see that on the video. So what that dark shadow did was kind of show us the back of our ribbon. So I'm going to do another part where it crisscrosses here and it kind of helps our ribbon bend. Does a little ribbon bending. And I'm just kind of like making straight lines with my pencil, kind of feathering it out with pressure and lighter pressure as it goes away into a softer gray and heavier pressure where I want it darker. So I'm going to come back in and even make this super dark. And it's important for you guys at home for your um, images to come out across digitally to me when I grade is to make your values darker than you would think in those darker spots. But look at how it goes from dark to lighter to lightest. And that is called gradation. It's a technique in how we produce um, or apply our values. Okay, so once again, we got dark value, we got medium value, and we have a light value. 
Now, if your finger gets dirty and you don't like that, you can always wrap a finger in paper towel and smooth it out or tissue from uh, like a Kleenex box. I'm gonna do one more. And I would like you to make five ribbons when you start this. Each ribbon is going to crisscross behind another one. So I'm going to show you that next on how to create overlapping of your shaped ribbons. Okay, so I'm not going to finish that one exactly the way I think it should be smooth and all, but you can kind of see the movement happening here. And that's awesome because your eye is going to go all over the place on this picture in the end. So now that I have a ribbon going across the paper at an angle, I kind of want to go the other way. So what I'm going to do is start my drawing again, kind of just like twisting my pencil. Whenever you run into your ribbon, stop and then pick up your pencil and then drop it down again on the other side of it and then continue your traveling. Okay, so I got that, and now I'm gonna go parallel. And then anytime you think, oh, it's not parallel anymore, just cross over, stop at your previous ribbon, the one that should be finished now or close to done. Transfer over, crisscross, do whatever you think you need to to make this ribbon live on your paper. Once again, oops, I'm kinda out of my line there. Start to shade. Nice and dark to medium, lighter pressure with your pencil, and then soft. And give it a little bit of a scrubbing that it doesn't get too messy, okay? If you're smudging outside your line, just take your eraser and clean up along the line, okay? It'll look nice. All right, so I'm gonna do this one so you can kind of see it a little bit more. Now your whole ribbon could be gray but you just wanna make sure that wherever they crisscross, they get a little bit darker. What I've noticed in fifth grade is that some people have these little triangles, right where they pinch together and they crisscross, like right in that area, they're making a triangle. I'm not asking you to make a triangle, I'm asking you to make an area of value. So be careful that you're not making stripes or shape with your values, that you're really seriously blending out to a different value and then another value and then another value. You want to have like three to five shades of gray in your ribbon from that corner, that crisscross over. Now what's cool is if you don't have a crisscross necessarily and it's just kind of lumpy, I'll show you over here. I don't have a crisscross in this section, but I do have a kind of like a little turn. If I add a little bit of shadow in there or shading, what happens is it starts to look like it's bending in space. I call these hills and valleys. So the hill will have lighter gray and the valley, valley will have a darker gray. So the hill looks like it's getting light and this looks like it's in the shadows. Kind of like a hill with um, a gully near it. So anytime a hill kind of goes lower down the hill, you always put a little bit of darkness and it separates your landscapes and things. All right, I think that's a good demonstration. Now you'll have all these areas of empty space after you have five ribbons on here. Those empty spaces can be colored any way you'd like to. I would stay away from um, maybe markers or maybe a little bit too bold for the delicacy of the grays in your shading. So you want that shading to stand out not hide behind a lot of bold colors, okay? So boys, especially like dark colors, stay away from the darkest of colors, please. Stay more into um, the warm tones, red, yellow, pinks, orange, okay? But no markers for this one. Okay, I think you're good to go. You can watch this video again if you need help. And now you know value, you know gradation, and you know highlight, because you'll see that happening here on the hills. Okay, and you also know how to make a ribbon. You guys take care, and I will send you another video next week. Bye.